Welcome back to another Homebrew Wednesday. I'm not even going to say the date because I'll get it wrong. Just like I did last week. <laughs> but uh, I'll put it down there. Cheers and uh, welcome. This is a delicious IPA that I made just from scraps and odds and ends that I had lying around. You know, things I wanted to sort of use up because they were getting old. A um, little, uh, little uh, lacking on the head retention there, but I think i got to up my carbonation a little bit. It's really good. It's nice. If you want the recipe, let me know. I'll put it in the more info section. It's in partial extract. It tastes beautiful. It's very cold, though. I think i got to up my temperature in my keyser. Um, just an update today is basically what we've got. What's coming up? I've got a package in the mail. The thing I want to feature today, first of all, and I will be updating you on my mead. Let's do the mead first. The mead... I don't want to move my... I'm using the iPod, iPad today um, for, to film this. I haven't been using it lately. I've been using my camera, but today we're going to use that. So, But the mead is in a carboy sitting under my stairs over there, and it's just sitting there. It has not moved. I have not touched it. Um, it's fairly clear, but still a little bit misty. Um, basically, the plan for that now, because it's what been what two or three months since I brewed that, the plan for that is that I'm going to go to the homebrew store, get some corks, and we're going to bottle it. i got a whole bunch of wine bottles here. You've probably seen these in a few videos. It's got to be cleaned up a little bit, but we're going to bottle that baby up, and we're going to put it to sleep again, cover them up, and let them age. Excuse me. You know, beer, right? Beer does that to you. And um, I'll probably try some of it just to see what it tastes like, so I'll do that on YouTube or, or JTV or both. So that's the mead update. You know, nothing's been happening. And this is what I said before, mead sits after you brew it. After you do stuff to it, it just sits there. And um, it's just a carboy of full of mead, so I don't think I have to show that. But, um, <clears throat> okay, so I got a package now. Here's the next thing that's going to be happening on YouTube. We just did a homebrew video. Um, the uh, porter video is, is, has been put up. Uh, another homebrew video is going to come up really soon because I have to do this real quick. Here's what I got. I got a box. I'm going to just lift it up so you can see the size of the box, okay? All right. This is from a fellow by the name of, name of Todd. Now, Todd, he sent me up a little bit here. He sent me a bunch of stuff, and I'm going to show that to you just in a moment. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to give Todd a little plug because you know what? When he sent me a bunch of stuff, man. He really did. And this stuff was not cheap. And so we're going to advertise his aquarium store. He owns and operates LiveWireAquatics.com. And um, if you are into aquariums, um, having your own fish, or whatever aquatic uh, animals you can think of, He's got lighting, he's got foods, he's got um, chemicals, setup and maintenance uh, things, he's got a website, all this stuff is on there, okay? Hey, that's what, this is what we do, guys, you know, you, we help each other out, okay? He sent me a bunch of stuff, so that's what we did there. Gave him a little help. Huh? This is a partial, or actually, it's a mini mash kit, actually that he sent me, amongst other things, which I'll show quickly. This is, um, it's got a bunch of grains in here. It's got uh, two row, um, crystal, two crystal malts, some, uh, oh, I, can't, I, can't, I keep forgetting my glasses. Anyway, we'll show it when we do the brew video, okay? When we do actually, this is a mini mash. So this isn't, like, it's almost an all grain. It's almost an all grain. This is an all grain thing that I got myself, I went and got, my wife, I told, sent her out to check to see if we could get one of these, and we did. Uh, a big brew in the bag, a big bag, a big mesh bag, okay, that's going to fit in my brew pot. Okay, like so, okay, it's going to fit in the brew pot. Come on, perform, let's do it. We're going to put the grains got specialty grains and base malts. I'm going to put those in there. Obviously, we're going to take the bag off. Okay? <laughs> right? We're going to mash them. 
at 155 degrees or 153 degrees Fahrenheit, just like a, just like an old grain beer. Okay, and then we're going to take that and we're going to add the you know the liquid malt extract because it's a partial mash, right? He sent the liquid malt extract as well. I've had all this in the fridge, so it's fresh. And um, there's um, so that's part of it too. We'll just sit that in there or down there. Um, and then there's hops, and it comes with instructions uh, with all the different hops and additions I need to add because it came with all the hops and all everything. Okay, awesome. A partial mash I haven't done in God a two a couple a couple years maybe. So this will be a good ramp up to my all grain video. Um, and I, I'm going to do it soon because the grains are already ground. And it must have took way me a week and a half or so for this box to get here. And I've had it in the fridge and they need to be used now. Otherwise they're going to go, they're going to lose their flavor and their efficiency. So um, they're already, uh, you know, they're already milled. Okay, so we got to use them. So we're going to do that. That's going to be a whole video right there. A mini mash video. And I've learned a lot since the last time I did my last mini mash. So it's going to be a good instructional. I'll try to my best to make it a good instructional video on how to do a partial mash, which is basically an all grain beer combined with an extract beer. So it's like the it's the very rung just below all grain. Um, along with that, in the box, there's a bunch of grains. Um, other stuff he sent. There's some um, some Munich. Uh, we have uh, uh, what else? Uh, Victory, some Victory malts, some, other, some more uh, um, base malts there. Uh, we almost got some smoked, some smoked malt, um, some uh, Cara Munich, oh, kind of like a crystal malt sort of thing. Okay, uh, here we've got uh, some honey malt that smells heavenly. Can't wait to use that, and some chocolate malt as well which we've used in the porter, so we know how to do use that. Um, there's some sugars here, some dextrose bought for bottling. I'll probably just throw this in a batch of beer because I don't bottle very often, but that's great. And to top that all off, I'm doing as fast as I can. To top that all off, he sent um, a bunch of hops. We've got some, uh, some Cascade, some Citra, um, some, um, some uh, Simcoe, and some uh, gold, uh, Kent Goldings hops. Okay, we just sit those down there. We get through this as quick as we can. And a bunch of uh, yeasts. Okay, we've got an S, you know, we've got S, I, you know what? Yeast. 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 Okay, some of them, this is, a, I think one of them is a lager, this is a lager yeast, I believe. Uh, a couple of them are lager yeast. This is an ale yeast, an S SO5. Y'all heard about that. So they're there too. And so I don't have my glasses over here. And we got a white uh, um, um, a White Labs liquid yeast. Um, this is a an English. What does it say? Irish ale yeast. I've never used one of these before. So this is awesome. These are like twelve or thirteen dollars where I where I buy them or where I shop. I, I rarely, if ever. Buy them. So thank you, Todd. Man, you are you rock. You're awesome. So there's going to be some homebrew videos. This is the thing: is that you know, he set me up, but he set us all up to have some content on Craig Tube. Okay, I'll put those away in a minute. What else? Um, so the all grain people are asking me when are you going to do the all grain. You know, obviously I'm going to do it after this because those grains are crushed and I have to use them right away. The all grain, the, and I'm still testing my mash tun for temperatures and seeing what I can use for insulation. Um, I don't want to rush it. I want this to work, but I'm all set to go. Everything is set. I know what I'm doing. The, the grains are still sitting there, and everything's all set to go. I think I'm done. That's just updates. Um, there's... what do we got here? Oh! 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 How can I forget? Um, I, I've... Uh, uh, captured some yeast from my last home brew, so um, I've done. I've got about four or five jars in here, um, where you you know you you siphon your beer into the keg, then you you grab the trub and you wash it. Okay, washing your yeast to reuse it. This is a uh, an SO5, a USO5 yeast that I purchased, 
and I'm trying to so this this has been washed once and I'm gonna do a video on this if this is successful which I'm, I think it will be then I will do a video on this but there's other videos on YouTube already <sighs> I'm trying to cram this all in as quickly as I can guys um, you can see at the bottom there's a lot of a lot of um, you know hop material hops and whatnot and crap in the middle here we've got the nice yeast bed and on top we've just got some sort of water, watered down beer. Um, I'm going to rinse this one more time and then I'm going to use it in a batch of beer. And if it's successful I'll make a video and show you how I did this and how you can save a lot of money on yeast. And you know what, when somebody gives you one of these or when you buy one of these for $12, one of these White Labs things, you don't throw it away at the end of the day when you're finished. You're going to reuse it up to five times, five brews. You can reuse that. So $12 divided by five, what's that? You know, a little over $2 per, per batch of beer for a high quality uh, yeast like that. And you can reuse it. Okay, so that's what we're doing here. This is an experiment and we're going to see how it works. I'm out. I gotta go. This has been long enough. Thank you guys. Hope to see you Friday. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Have a beer. Have a beer. Have a homebrew. Cheers. I would like to give you this recipe down below when I get a chance. Give it a try. It's a partial extract. Very easy to make. And it rivals some of the best or, well, some of the better IPAs that I've tasted. Hmm. Look, at if I'm willing to give out a recipe that I've come up with, I'm not going to give it out if it tastes like crap. So you can, you can kind of trust me on that. Okay? I'm out. Cheers, guys. Take care.